to see RJ uh, unfortunately like lose on stream, but Zai was able to recover with a good yeah. win on Jama, and now let's see if he can recover uh, with another win on Ados. But this would be a huge win for the man in yellow. Ados has been really kind of like showcasing how good he is recently, and finally kind of got out of his like uh, I, I guess we'll just refer to it as a shell. Right. He used to be uh, kind of struggling, not really doing too good. Uh, struggle between Terry, Ken, Ryu, yeah. Cloud, and then finally just stuck with the Terry, and his results have kind of skyrocketed. What a big yeah. event out here in DFW. Well, this is going to be one of his biggest tests, though, because Palutan, of course, the queen of keeping characters out, and, I mean, that's going to be his main focus against Terry, right? Um, you know, but once Autos gets into that range, Palu actually can contest him in certain spaces, but it's just getting there is going to be the problem, because, yeah, as you can see, his goal is going to be staying the hell away. <laughs> yeah, a, lo a lot of the Shodos, um, of course, you know, whatever you feel about Terry being an FGC character. Oh, what a great air dodge! Oh, hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> Let me stop my train of thought. That was an actually excellent air dodge. And what's really scary about <laughs> Autos is Terry loves to go high on these recovery mix-ups. Up air is always menacing. If you do, like, a crack, a crack barrel and that upper weight and you get caught by up air at, like, 80, you're dead. So, really scary for Terry at disadvantage a lot of the time. Oh, try to do a, the uh, the plus frame set up there. Yeah, get it, get in Powell's face, right? You don't have a lot of out of shield options, and Zai going really deep for it. Yeah, he was looking for the proper punish there, and oh, and he got proper punish by Autos right yeah, there. Yeah, he tried to teleport off ledge, but you, obviously you're vulnerable during those initial frames and just getting called out and getting the stock. And now you have Rage Terry. This could really snowball for Autos here. Uh, still gonna be eleven. Won't be able to kill the up air. Uh, uh, up throw. I'm sorry. We'll be able to kill the up air. Uh, and despite him having go mode, there will be no party time tonight, fellas. Yeah, you don't want the back throw there. Oh, nice DI. Oh. Oh, nice punish on the DI. Yeah, because most of the time you get that um, up air up B with Terry, but going reading the um, the side DI and getting the other confirmed, really a good awareness from Autos. And this, these crack shoots have been absolutely stellar, by the way. I cannot say it enough. He's been putting them in the proper areas. He's been using them first. He's been using them to get out of situations. He's been yeah. using them to really apply pressure. And whip punish. That was an excellent whip punish off the Palo move. Oh, okay. All right. You got to be a little bit scary when you're doing that against the FTC character. They can actually just kill you for it. Okay, Otis, ooh, getting in there, no jump here, but yeah, nice. Um, oh, but this not. Oh, Otis, you masher. Oh my god, did you see him? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he was the second he landed. <laughs> and he was yeah. like, I'm covering everything right here. I'm covering roll two, I'm covering spot dodge. Yeah, I mean, there's not much you can do. Um, and now you have, you know, Rage Pal can be scary if you, like, he just needs to avoid being above Zai at all times right now. Because that's where an up air is going to be really scary with Rage. Now, the thing about Terry that's a lot more interesting than the other FTC characters is that he doesn't really get like a. Uh, Ooh, nice it's not really a straight hit that like really kills you. He has to confirm into a move. Yeah. Okay, the shield pressure was really immense, but Zai just staying patient, knowing that he couldn't um, couldn't convert there. But still, the, okay, now Zai going to planking does not want. <laughs> he can't really kill him with planking. He can, he, yeah. Terry can't do anything there. He's not gonna be able to down smash you there because his uh, foot does not cover like you know the planking area. Yeah. He's one of the FTC characters that actually has to kind of deal with that. Yeah, exactly. But he has go right now, and he, I think he, I think with go you can definitely hit ledge on a re grab or something. So, so I has to be a little more careful planking the ledge with go. Here we go. Uh, he'll be fine. He has one more re grab. Okay. Oh Ooh, yeah, the you neutral try. get up coverage. He tried neutral get up spot dodge, and <laughs> yo, you can't do that versus these characters. Yeah, really act to Terry really heavy too. Definitely gonna live that back air. It goes low here. The down tilts are not working. Usually you'd expect down tilt to annihilate that up beat, but um. You know, Otto's getting the correct spacing. I mean, Otto's has been playing FTC characters for quite a quite a number of years. If anybody's going to know how to deal with, you know, getting the recovery blown up, it's going yeah. to be him. All right, we'll see if Otto's can get the section cut with this go. With punishing the explosive flame, not saved in that range against Terry. Oh, this is actually terrifying. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, yeah, just air dodge off. I like the option from Zai. It is party time. He's got so much rage, too. Oh, 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 the oh my god. Through. Oh, my god. He actually armor through. We almost saw an anime moment. My man is still living. He's still fine. But it's oh, still party time. Yeah. Okay, party time is over. All right. I knew he was living on borrowed time. Eventually, the down tilt will confirm. But still, 48% pretty solid. But not going to be solid if he gets the Nair started. Oh, so much percent too. Oh, those are plus frames. And he realized that he jumped out. That was actually yeah. really smart for Zai. Zai learning the matchup, I think, on the fly here. Learning what's plus, what's not. Definitely like him adjusting to Terry's pressure at the moment. All right, he's in the corner. How does he get out of here? And he has to jump. Zai is starting to get a little bit of a grasp on Alice's habits. Oh, wow. That was a terrible spot to be in. As soon as he can hit the platform, I mean, Otto's pretty much. Oh, what the first. <laughs> all think the he pressure. He read that teleport, but just did the um, punish inside instead of outside. I never thought about it, but Terry can actually OS that. Ooh, not be able to kill there. The next big hit should be the life of her. Again, oh, that wow. was the chance. You could have or yeah. You could have just actually whip punished that, but he luckily did not. Okay, F tilt. Still on the ledge here, can still take advantage of this. 
Okay, he's staying so patient. Yeah, see, that's the thing about Terry, is that you have you have to take the grab there. If you get hit, if you get caught rolling, if you yeah. get caught spot dodging, you actually just die there. Ooh, wanted to jump off of ledge, but uh, Zai's getting put in these corner situations, but just... Oh, he messed up! He tried yeah. to grab that! That was perfectly spaced from autos! No big punish, though! Yeah, I was staying patient, but Zai is getting out of the... Okay, he Oh, and the down now. smash! The footsie's coming out from autos! Yeah, I mean, you, there's only... He, the man was escaping death so many times. If you're put in that many corner situations, you're eventually going to pay off. And now that's just putting Zai at the ledge most of the game. Really Autos. great job. Unranked DFW, man. Right. He has been ranked them before, but that was in a different that was a different era. That was a different game. This would be a huge win over Zai. And I cannot say it enough. Zai is a ridiculous player. Yes. The he best Palo in the South. Like, pretty much. Like, the Palo of the South, yes. Yeah, literally. Like, has the best results. Um, and uh, I'm guessing Autos was a uh, Smash 4 Ryu. He played Smash 4 Ryu. Yeah, yeah, he, was, yeah. he was part of the nasty group like I was. Yeah. Uh, I will not deny we did horrible things to people. I've robbed <laughs> many people in my time. Yeah. Autos included. But the main important thing here is that Autos is playing smooth. He's playing great. Yeah. I cannot say enough. His spacing is looking immaculate and right now. I think an, a really, really underrated thing he's done too is um, Zai has tried those explosive flames in the corner. They usually catch a lot of people off guard. He has not hit one against Autos. He's always jumped away at the perfect time. So he's really aware of Palo's reversal options. Yeah, a little bit of studying too. Maybe ask some of his. Oh! Oh, wait, like, you're still living. You're still living. But okay, now you're. Yeah. Uh, no way. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay, good. Just making sure. I, I thought maybe Terry can survive drop. two hits off stage max. You get the second <laughs> one, you're probably dead. Uh, Terry's a ridiculous character off stage as far as like making his recovery back. Yeah, so I mean, really forcing Zai to go through all the mix ups with Zai passing the test, and uh, now he can play his game, which is going to be a lot of projectiles and a lot of juggling. I feel like I'm seeing a lot more better of a, like a close up game here from Zai, actually. Yeah. It feels like because Zai was trying to keep away the whole time, and I was like, all right, this is cool. I used to chase Oh, no, the oh, wrong way. No. Oh, not what you want. And, yeah, like you said, I think up close, um, Zai was a little bit uncomfortable in the first game. He was just kind of learning the matchup, right? Learning what's safe, what's not. And now you're seeing the anti-airs come out, and it's just going to skyrocket from here unless Alex can halt this momentum really quickly. Yeah, I feel like this is, might be a little bit of a wash right now, but you never know. Uh, these FTC characters can just, like, kill you in a moment's notice. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, th this is one of the best comeback characters in the game. But against a force like Zai, it's just going to be really difficult. Oh, what a fair to challenge that pair. That was amazing. I like the slight upwards trajectory of the teleport to not allow Autos to convert to. But still at 145. Oh. That time covered it. You're dead. Yeah. Uh, Zai has been getting away with that a whole bunch. Autos won the first game, but like at least Autos is keeping that in his mind. He's like, okay, you like to go back to stage? You yeah. don't, you don't want to play the RPS? Yeah. No, hold that. Exactly. And, you know, I would have maybe liked it if you would have kept that read maybe for a game three, but, you know, converting off it now, at least you give yourself a shot. Uh, oh, he used to jump? Okay, but he's fine. One another back here just slightly mistimed it, but yeah. Oh! Okay, all right. The fact that you were behind him. He's, he's covering these teleports in, man. What a punish, too! Yeah, he's ready for him. I, I would just not go to that option if I was Zai at this point. Oh man, this is a scary situation for both competitors right now. Trying to get the spot out now. You do not want this to be one stock to one as a Terry. I'm telling you, against a Terry, that's always scary, especially when you're the one that had all the momentum. So he, he wants to close this out right now. The funny thing is, if he gets the stock and then it becomes party time, yes. One combo leads to 60%, yeah. and then yeah. the next combo actually just kills you. Yeah, it's very scary. Oh, he was oh. supposed to get the whole. Oh my God, it poked, but he just missed it. He has to land here. Able to with a fair. All right, can you get a go Oh, oh he, he got the confirm. All right, oh, this it's is still, it can still happen to you. Oh, my God. This is not where you want to be. Zai needs to close out right now, or it might be party time. Oh, my God. Gets the fair. The big combo oh hit. No, the SDI God. or the DI was immaculate yeah. from him. And he was able to get that punish, too. Zai was not able to get cheated there. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. Props to Zai for knowing the exact defensive option he needed to do there. And, but unfortunately, I think he DI'd that back air kind of weirdly. I don't think that was out, because that should not have hit. Um, but maybe just panicking after he missed the um, missed the, uh, missed the confirm. It could have been going for something else. It could have been going for a fair. It could have yeah. been maybe going for a back jump. air. Maybe kind of jump. But yeah, it's really clutch from Zai to let all that momentum. Like, that momentum was rising, dude. Okay, all right. Let's not say clutch here. I mean, Autos was still definitely in a deficit. But it just could have happened to you. <laughs> like, you could have yeah. just got robbed out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so game three. Um, Zai looking a little more comfortable, but Otto's still looking good. Still looking threatening. This is going to be a hell of a game three. Yeah, I mean, also to take uh, to talk about game three as well, or game two, I'm sorry. 
And no disrespect to Zai, of course, but I always did, of course, have a little bit of trip ups there. Yeah. You know, kind of, you know, shoelaces came in tied, yeah, yeah, smacked the table. You had that weird um, <laughs> power dunk that just led him to the blast zone. Yeah, I had that um, weird power dunk that led him to the blast zone. Um, uh, just didn't seem to be playing as hot until, like, the last part of the game where you need yeah. that clutch. But we're going to see what's going to be happening in this game three. So we're going to see what the counter picks, here, counter picks are here. So Otto's told me that he was like, hey, I don't know why everybody just, like, I don't like I don't like FD. He said I don't like FD that much compared to like Town, yeah. compared to like the uh, the Final Fantasy new stage that came with Sephiroth. Like there's so many things that he's like, okay, if people don't ban these stages versus me, I'm gonna take them there. Yeah. But he also has to think about it versus Zai as well, because Zai's a very retreating player. Right. He doesn't like to engage with the Shiodos. He course. doesn't like to engage with any FTC character. He wants yeah. to run away from them. So if you take him to like you know the new FF7 stage, the Sephiroth stage. Yeah. He's going to use those platforms to get away from me. He's going to run away from me. Yeah. So, all this has to be constantly aware of that, and I want to see what the counter pick is going to this next game. Normally, I don't like platforms versus Palu, but I think platforms would do really well here because it would allow Terry to land a lot easier and use those special to land lag, let's see, to have better mix-ups. So, I would like platforms here, even with Palu. Going to Cave. Interesting. Yeah, Cave is a stage that, like, he told me he was a big fan of. He thinks it's Terry's best stage. However, the same end, too. I do know that Zai is very much a defensive end. Probably not wanting to really deal with him up close. Okay, gets a good reversal there on the down oh, tilt. What? How did you guys? Why were you guys both ready for that? <laughs> yeah, they were both just ready to scramble immediately. Um, but of course, so I getting the early advantage to start. We kind of expect this. You gotta play the attack versus Palu. Oh, optimal punish too. Great parry. Oh, this is scary. I think it's okay. Nice tech. Um, Zai always ready for that stage bike. Oh, the platform actually saving him right there. That's the punish. You don't want to counter there. Oh, my God. That could have been crazy. Yeah, that could have been actually Ooh. death. Oh, and yeah. then a little bit too fast. The side B gets punched with the back air for it. And now my man Otis is not in the lead. Or yeah. He's looking pretty bad here. I'm not going to lie to Zai you. Zai started both game two and game three with vicious edge guards, knowing that, like, this is my strength in the matchup. And then you get that <laughs> up air train to 57%. How can Otis respond? He has to do it right now. See, Otto's trying to get in there, trying to try to wait for him to overextend, but once again, Zai's more jumping, trying to, you know, keep... He's not really engaging himself. He's doing a lot of payback fairs. He's trying to be very smart about he's how... Jumping out of these jabs the second he notices them so he doesn't get any conversions. I like the patience from not the air dodge in there, though. Yeah, not the air dodge, not the side B, because Zai definitely had the spacing for it. Oh, my God, that would have been scary, but he actually waited out the power dunk and... Oh, oh no punish there! Get to there! Oh, the tech, he's always ready. Oh, plus yeah. Plus on shield. Yeah, yeah, plus frames. Hold that. Yeah, Zai definitely thinking he can punish. Release it at the wrong time. And Otto staying in this is not much of a deficit for Terry as we Ooh. know. Falling up air is the combo starter for this character. If he had falling up air to, like, uh, F-Tilt, that would have been, like, so much percent. And look at Otto's holding the stage control. He's like, you can be in the corner all you want. I will wait you out, and I will get the play. Uh, back throw will not be able to kill here. He should still be living, but what's the recovery option? Oh, good delay there. All right, can he get off ledge? Oh, the get-up attack's not going to be punished, though. But still finding himself off stage. Okay, finally, Autos with a sense of stage control, but DI is that dash attack exactly where he needs to, though. That was a great, <laughs> that was a great option to get further away from the okay, stage. Okay, this is just a chance. He finally gets the stage control, but Zai can retreat to the platform immediately, not wanting to mess with this. And I like character. how I like how Zai's not grabbing out a shield. Zai is yeah. completely abandoned grab out of shield at this point. Oh, He's like, no, no I'm not getting hit with a cross up to you know die. I'm that's not going to be me. Okay, and now getting us 54% off that platform extension. Um, oh, that was a really smart idea from Autos, but was not able to get the rest of the move to connect. Yeah. Okay. Zai just content to just use this platform as shield, just content to get his conversions. Looking like a massive lead right now. Let's we'll see if Oz can come up with anything, but Zai's patient game looks like it's paying off. Oh, he's trying to catch on to these, uh, these, these track shoots. Yeah. Trying to get the spot dodge up tilt to anti air, not lucky for him. Yeah. Oh, what a narrow off ledge to cover yeah. almost every option that Otto's wanted to do. I don't think he, he was basic checkmate there to getting hit. Not much he can do. And even with this go, it's just been so hard for him off stage. I can't see him living too many more of these uh, conversions. You know what? <laughs> when in doubt, just sometimes, you know, just pull out the big moves, pull you out the big something. guns. You need something to, right now because it's looking really rough. Oh, can't get the confirm off of that. Yeah, Paolo was looking for that up, up tilt, uh, nair up tilt. Oh, wow, that did not confirm. That did not confirm. He was barely out of percentage. Maybe the rage was a little bit of help there for Zai. Yeah. So I think it's the rage and the combination of Zai just having really good DIs on these conversions. Oh, that's it. Back throw to death. Zai survives Autos. 
Zai continues, more importantly, in winning. Looking really scary game one, but then Zai calmed down, played his game, um, you know, got the edge guards when he needed to, and when he wasn't edge guarding, he was on that corner just and chipping away at Terry, slowly but surely breaking down your morale.